guys, it's Amy and welcome to another episode inside of Amy Lee's Land of Love. I hope you guys have had a wonderful weekend. Tell me all about it in the comments down below. It's getting really chilly outside, isn't it? It's because Christmas is coming. Yay, I personally cannot wait. Loves it. Now let's start the episode as we always do and say a big good morning to my wonderful Minecraft family. I wonder where Bert and Bertha are today. Hey guys, Bert, Bertha. Where are you guys? Uh, hey guys? But oh, hey Bert, how's it going? Oh, I see Mittens over there as well. Hello, Mittens. Hey Bert, are you on the journey of the day to go and find the block of the day? <laughs> Which block is it going to be, Bert? Are you going to show me? Are you going to take me? Is it upstairs today? I think Bert has like checked out every single block in this house, but he still prefers the wooden ones. Oh, I think he spotted one. Is it near Salem's room? Which block are you going for, Bert? What one is it? Is it that one? Oh, I see why you've picked this one, but it's um, it's beautiful. It's better than this one, and and it's it's a lot brighter than this one. Hey, <laughs> silly goose! Now I wonder where Bertha is today. Hey, Bertha, Bertha. Hey, where are you, you big iron gooseberry? Do you think she's in the block museum? No, Bertha. Maybe she's in the kitchen. Bertha. Oh, I see her. Hey, Bertha. Hey, it's me. It's Amy. Hey, Bertha. Turn around. I'm right behind you, Bertha. Look at me. Bertha, Bertha, I'm right here. Bertha, but that's it. Ah, oh, your eyeballs are shining like red starbursts today. I <laughs> love it. I love you, Bertha. You are a good egg. Anyway, we better get on with it. We're going to do some really cool things today. We have another building idea that I really want to get started. <laughs> hey, Bert, how's it going? Um, so, of course, we better go and see the doggies and kitty cats as well. Hey, guys, wait, what are you guys doing on the floor again? What's going on here? Hello, wait, Saturn Comet, have you taken over the bed again? I thought you were sharing it. I thought you were sharing it with all the doggies. Why, why have you taken the bed? And what about our little new kitty cat? Why is she on the floor and not with you guys? Something's going on here. I'm not really sure what's going on. But anyway, we do have a brand new kitty cat and we have named her, guys. I've been really busy reading all your name suggestions and one name kept coming up in particular and I absolutely loved it. So we are going to go ahead and call this brand new little kitty cat. <gasps> Stan! I thought that was beautiful. A little Stan. Oh, how cute is that? So thank you guys so much for coming up with that name. I wish I had 10,000 million cats so I could call them all after your names, but I, I only have one. <laughs> Loves it. But literally about 50 of you said star or you said something similar like starlet or starla and stuff. So I thought we'll go with star. It goes with the whole spacey theme with Comet and Saturn and I loved it. So thank you guys again for all your suggestions. I absolutely love them all. And welcome to the family star. I <laughs> loves it. Now who'd like their breakfast this morning? Should we start with Star? There we go, my little darling. And here we go, Saturn and Comet. What's up, Comet? Hey, look at me, little darling. What's up? Comet? Are you feeling a little bit jealous? Comet, you don't need to feel jealous. Comet was an abandoned orphan that we found in the jungle and Saturn and I brought him home and Saturn has kind of looked out for him, kind of like him being like his little brother and stuff. It's very sweet. But is that why little star over there is on the floor? Are you feeling a bit jealous? Oh, Comet, you don't need to feel jealous. Silly kitty cat. <laughs> oh, bless his little cotton socks. Anyway, who would like their breakfast? You've all been waiting here patiently. I have some yummy fish. No? No one wants fish? Okay, how about potato? Are you sure? No potato? Okay, what about steak? <laughs> Everyone wants steak. There we go, lovely Luna. There we go, my darling Sailor. We have little Max over there. We have little Lexi. We have Boomer. We have Lola. And we have Destiny over there. Loves it. And we also have in the corner Romeo and Mars. Now, who should we take with us on today's adventure? Hmm, who have we not had in a little while? You know what, I don't actually think we've had Max very recently. So come along, Max, it's you and I today. Let's have a grand adventure. You ready, boy? Oh, he's super excited. Come on then, let's go down to the cute recruit patch. And of course, say a big good morning to Grandfather Oak. Come along, Maximus, come along. Good job. Who's a good doggy? You're a good doggy. Yes, you are. Hello, Grandfather Oak. Oh, you are looking spiffing. Look at him, doesn't he look amazing? Saying, I love you, Grandfather Oak. Grandfather Oak, tell me a story. <laughs> <laughs> I 
loves it. Only I can hear Grandfather Oak's stories. They're so beautiful and magical. Anyway, let's get down to the cute recruit patch to see which cuties we have added this week. And of course, all my cuties are very, very cute. Isn't it ironic, don't you think? <laughs> loves it. So the cuties I'm adding are Alfie and the Starlets. I'm adding the Starlets because you guys who came up with the name Star, I'm calling you the Starlets because there are so many of you to name, I couldn't possibly name them all. So thank you if you came up with Star. I'm also adding Alfie because he sent me this amazing picture. It was adorable. You can see it on the screen right about now. Can you see how cute is that? I can see Grandfather Oak. I can see Ralph. I thought it was absolutely adorable. So thank you very much, Alfie, and welcome to the cute recruit patch. I absolutely loved your picture. The colors were absolutely amazing. So yeah, thank you so much. You are awesome. Now I better get on with today's episode. What is it, Max? What is it, buddy? What are you looking at? What's up? Snow golems. Oh, the snow golems! We didn't say good morning to the snow golems! Oh no, I can't believe I forgot! Oh, crimely Max, we better run over there. You know what? I also need to get my building materials for today's episode. Oh, I cannot believe I forgot the snow golems. I'm never going to hear the end of this. Mins is going to be so upset. He's going to punish me with mischief. I know it. Hello, Bert. Oh, Bert must have got bored from the blocks upstairs. Come on, Max. We haven't got any minutes to lose. We better get up there and say good morning before I get punished. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Hello, Mittens. Mittens, don't be mad at me. Hello, darling. I'm sorry, Mittens. I'm sorry. Will you forgive me? Don't look at me like that, Mittens. You know I love you. Mittens, oh. Okay, just don't cause too much mess, okay. Hello, Blizzard. How are you doing today, darling? Where's Mr. Frost? Mr. Frost? Oh, you're right there. Hey, guys. You're the good golems. You never cause too much mischief. You're the good boys. <laughs> Loves it. Anyway, Max, we better go down to the chest room to get the materials that we need for today's building. We need a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I also need to go fishing for the cats because we're running out of fish. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab a golden nugget because at the end of the day, once we're done, I thought we could go and watch a movie together. I thought that'd be really, really nice. So what do I need for today's building? Uh, I don't need any ingots. I don't need any armor. I've got plenty of armor on. Uh, oh, I do need to get some wood. So let me go ahead and grab a stack of wood. That's awesome. Hello, Mittens. How are you doing, darling? Oh, I've dropped my nugget. Okay, that's fine. Um, what else do I need? I don't need any dirt. Um, hmm... What else do I need? We need... Oh, you know what we could do? Maybe we could, like, cook some food outside. Let me grab, like, some potatoes and beef and stuff. Maybe we could have, like, a little camp out and stuff. Uh, let me grab a fishing rod so we can fish for the fish, basically. Fish for the fish. <laughs> Wait, where's my golden nugget gone? I dropped it around here somewhere. Where'd it go? Uh, where's Mittens as well? Where did my go... <gasps> Mittens? Mittens, what are you doing outside? Oh no, Mittens has gone up. Max, stay here. I need to go get him back. Oh no, what's he doing outside? Oh no, he's left a mischief trail. Oh, Mittens. Oh no, I can't leave him outside. Where's he going? What? He's been up to some kind of mischief out here. <laughs> has he been dancing out here? Oh no, Mittens. Where have you gone? Mittens. Oh, he's punishing me for not saying good morning to him. <laughs> I knew he'd do something naughty, but this is really naughty. Mittens, you can't be out here alone. It's really dangerous. Where did he go? The snow stopped. Mittens? <gasps> Mittens! He's by the wishing well. Mittens, get down from there. Honey, there's water. Water's really dangerous for you. Mittens, please step back. Mittens, listen to me. Listen to me now. Step back. What are you doing? Was that... Is that a golden nugget? Mittens, did you just make a wish? Ah! Oh no. <gasps> Mittens? Mittens, is is that you? Ah! Mittens, you're a dog. Ah! Ah! I, what, what's happened? Mittens, did you just wish to be a dog? Ah! Oh my goodness, Mittens, what have you done? <laughs> Mittens, you're a dog. Ah! This is absolutely ah! insane. <laughs> Mittens! Look at you! Mittens, you're a dog! Oh my goodness! Oh, this is so funny! Mittens, you, you're a dog! <laughs> um, okay, uh, so you're a dog and you're... Mittens, don't run off! Come back, come back! You, you've got to be a good boy now! So you made a wish in the wishing well and now you're a dog. How long are you going to be a dog for? 
Oh, Mittens. You done this so we could spend time together outside, didn't you? <laughs> well, tell you what, buddy. Let's go and have the best day ever together. What do you say? Should we go have some fun, just me and you? <laughs> let's do it, buddy. Wherever you want to go, let's go and have some fun. <laughs> this is crazy. I cannot believe I'm going to go out on a day out with Mittens. Loves it. Not so fast, buddy. Mittens? Mittens, come back. Good boy. you got to prove to me that you're going to be a good boy today, okay? I'm going to put a lot of trust and belief in you, okay? Don't let me down. Now, I'm going to go back to the house and pick up some supplies. Maybe we could go camping and have like a little campfire and stuff. That could be really, really fun. Uh, so do you want to just hang out here just for a little while? And there he goes. Look at his little legs. I bet he's going to show off to the doggies upstairs. Bless his little cotton socks. He's such a good egg. Oh, Max. Max. Oh, my goodness. I forgot you were here, darling. Um, do you mind if I leave you here today? Instead, I'm going to take Mittens out, who is now a dog, because he made a wish. And it's really confusing. It's a long story. But would you mind, honey? Oh, good job, Max. You're such a good heart. I love you, Max. We'll have a special day together another time, I promise. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to need some supplies. I'm going to need some wool so I can make a tent. Uh, so let me grab some green wool. That'd be really good. I'll get some nether racks so we can have like a little campfire. Um, I'm going to need to light it. So if I grab some flint and steel. And I think that's pretty much all I need, actually. I've got a furnace so I can cook some food. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much everything that I need. So Max, you have to look after the house, okay? You're in charge. <laughs> good job, good job. And Mittens, come back down, buddy. Mittens? Hey, Mittens, where did you go? Mittens? <coughs> Oh, I knew it. I knew you'd be with the other doggies. <laughs> How do they take it that you're the new doggy? <laughs> I bet they're really, really confused. Go on then, buddy. Let's go. Excuse me, Bert. Excuse me, darling. Thank you. I <laughs> loves it. Come on then, Mittens. Let me shut the door before anything else crazy happens today. I can't take much more crazy. <laughs> loves it. So where do you want to go, buddy? The world is your adventure. Let's go play in it. Desert? That's interesting. As a snow golem, Mittens could never ever go to the desert. So this must be really interesting for him. What do you make of it, boy? <coughs> this is the desert. In fact, this is the first time of them being kidnapped by the witch and the time you snuck out that you've ever been out in the real world. This is amazing. You excited? <laughs> Good job. Come on then, buddy. Let's go. out of breath. Mittens, slow down. Mittens, don't go over the edge. Mittens! Mittens! Oh, he scared me. <laughs> Mittens, be careful. We're really high up, okay? Look at him looking around. This must be really exciting for him. I mean, this is his first time seeing the world. Imagine seeing this for, like, the very first time. I wonder what's going through his head, like, all this beauty and all this freedom. This must be so different for him to experience it as a dog. Wow, I've never really thought about it that way. I'm so glad I get to experience this with you, Mittens. <coughs> and we're off again. <laughs> slow down, buddy. <coughs> slow down. <coughs> Whoa, wait up, Mittens. Oh, look, there's water up ahead. Let's go check it out. Wow. You know what? Mittens has never been this close to water before. Not properly. Water's always been really dangerous for snow golems. He could never be this close. This must be really weird for him. Even just seeing trees and the ground and, and mountains and the dirt. This must be a whole new experience for him. I wonder what's going through his head at this point. Hey Mittens, what do you think of it? This is water, honey. Do you like it? 
Mittens, what are you thinking? Ah! It's okay, it's not gonna hurt you. <laughs> Mittens! Oh my goodness! Mittens, wow! What do you think, honey? How is it? Do you like it? Look at you swimming! Oh, Mittens, this is awesome! I'm gonna come and join you! Yay! <laughs> swim <laughs> looks like you really enjoyed it how did you find it wow that must have been so exciting for you the first time you've ever been allowed in water oh, i'm so happy for you mittens listen i think we should go find a nice little place to have a little campsite let's go check out this area because this area looks really nice come on buddy yeah what about here why don't you go and explore and like check out all the flowers and trees and stuff and i'm gonna make a start on the tent and get the campfire all ready for tonight Check out the sun setting. Isn't it beautiful? How the sky turns a lovely pink colour? And then all the stars above us. If you look up, you can see all the beautiful stars. They're all sparkly and beautiful. Sometimes I just love the night time. And look, look, the sky's starting to turn red now. Isn't it gorgeous? Hey, maybe we should light our campfire now. Let's go do that. Okay, Mittens, you have to be really careful around here because it's really hot, okay? You have to listen to me and don't get too close. Step back. Good boy, there we go. The fire is really, really warm. Be careful, Mittens. Mittens, you can have a look at it, but just don't get too close, okay? Don't get too hurt. I'm going to cook some food for you. I'm going to cook you some steak, which is what all the other doggies really like to eat. Mittens, be careful. Back up a little bit. Mittens, back up. Good boy. I just don't want you getting hurt, okay? got to be careful. You're being such a good boy, Mittens. I'm really proud of you. So yeah, I'm going to cook you some steak, and I think you're really going to like this, okay? Are you ready to try it? This is what Max eats, and Mars, and all the other doggies, okay? There we go, buddy. What do you make of that? Is it good? Oh, awesome. Let me cook myself a baked potato. There's nothing quite like cooking food out in the wild. Don't you think, Mittens? It always tastes so much better when cooked under the moonlight and under a blanket full of stars. Loves it. Talking of, wow! Come over here, Mittens. Come over here, quick. Look up. You can see the stars, and wow, can you see the moon? Look how beautiful it is, Middens. It's so full. Wow, this is the most beautiful night I've seen in a long time. What do you think of it, Middens? This is like the first proper time you've been outside at night time. Isn't it beautiful? Wow, look at it. It's so magical. Well, you know what, Mittens? Today has been an amazing day. But you know what? Tomorrow's going to be even better. I think we should probably go to sleep now so we can start the day nice, bright and early. Come on, Mittens! Let's go to sleep! Mm -hmm. 